guys welcome back this feels so abnormal for me so it might take me a second to get used to the camera again i don't really have the most ideal setup right now because my mirror is over there and my tripod is like this giant ring light around it so it's so hard to see what i'm doing so please forgive me if the quality is not exactly great i am doing my best and also just trying to get used to this again also these look like i have horns coming out of the side of my head but they're just little clips to put my hair back because we are doing a little get ready with me i want to show you guys my updated makeup routine it's definitely not perfect and i definitely don't really know what i'm doing when it comes to makeup but i do my best and i feel like it looks okay i'm just going to do my makeup and then answer some of your guys's questions because i posted something on my instagram story about a month ago and i'm finally just getting to it asking you guys to ask me some questions and finally answering those catching you up on my life and filling you in on what's been going on because there's definitely been a lot of changes in my life in the past even like four months so yeah i just want to fill you guys in and also kind of get the hang of doing sit down videos again i feel like sit down videos are a lot more personal than like a vlog style video because i don't really catch you guys up on my life or fill you in on the details this will be definitely a lot more in depth than a vlog style video so i think i'm gonna do a lighter version of my makeup i'll either go lighter or heavier based on what i'm doing so like if i'm going out i'll definitely do like more face makeup probably heavier on the eyes but i'm just gonna do kind of like a natural look right now i feel like i do things kind of out of order just start with this flawless filter it's a mini one and i just put this underneath my eyes to brighten them up and it kind of serves as like a base i feel like also i don't do anything methodically and then i go in with the milk makeup it's all rubbed off it's like their skin tint i'm pretty sure and i just put this on the spots that are a little bit more red on my face because my face is pretty discolored i definitely don't have like an even complexion whatsoever it's very light which i like like it doesn't really feel like i have a lot of makeup on which i don't like the feeling of so it's good i'm gonna start answering some questions or else i'm going to completely blank and never answer them the only person who really asked this question and this is how they asked it they were like wtf has been going on in your life which is a good question because i don't really know either next i'm just going in with this milk makeup sculpt stick and i just put this on my cheekbones or above my cheekbones down like that I saw someone do this on tiktok i'm pretty sure and i've done it ever since so what's been going on in my life we can just start with the fact that i moved back home to wisconsin my childhood home um with my parents and my brothers i moved back home at the beginning of the summer so like end of may basically i moved home because living in new york is ridiculously expensive and i wasn't really working while i was living there so i was living off of my savings and then my parents were also helping me out which i'm so grateful that they were able to do but it wasn't sustainable for my family or i for me to keep living there while i'm in school unfortunately like i would have had to get probably two jobs to be able to support myself living in new york which i just didn't want to do while i'm in school because i just am a very overwhelmed human being and i was just worried about my mental well-being not to mention new york did take a bit of a toll on my mental health at times just because it is very overstimulating there's a lot going on and i just just, like missed nature and being able to drive places i definitely just like missed a lot of aspects that the city wasn't able to give me i do love new york city and i do think that one day i'll be back not permanently but i do think i want to live there again even though sometimes it does feel like it sucks the life out of me i do love it and i don't think there's anywhere in the world that compares to new york city and i am extremely grateful for the fact that i was able to live there for two and a half years it was a dream of mine ever since i was a little girl i am so grateful grateful that I had the opportunity to even do that. I have a freaking tattoo that says I heart NY on the back of my arm. Let's hope I never hate New York. But anyways, financially, it just wasn't going to work anymore. So I moved back home and I feel like this is the smartest thing for me right now in terms of saving money and not really having living expenses, which is super nice. The only thing is my parents are from a really small town in Wisconsin. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that. It's definitely not my dream destination of life 
life. I do have so much appreciation for it here. And I used to say I hate my town. I wouldn't say that. I just feel like there's bigger things out there for me, if that makes sense. I just feel very closed off here. And I feel like there's so much that I want to explore and do and so many people I want to meet. Things like that, that I just can't get here. There's just parts of living here that don't fulfill everything inside of me, I feel like. It is difficult living here, but I'm grateful that my parents allow me to live here and are helping me out for the time being. When I first moved back home, I was a little bit nervous because I was like almost embarrassed of the fact that I'm 22 and was going to be living at home. And I've come to terms with the fact that there is absolutely nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed about by living at home and saving money. I feel like it's just going to help me a lot later in life. Family is a very important thing to me and I will definitely value this time that I have with them later on in life. But yeah, that's basically why I moved home. I've definitely struggled a little bit seeing all my friends having fun in New York, but I can always visit and I've already visited twice since I moved back home. I had an internship this summer. I feel like that's another part of my life that I've kind of left out. So I had a nine to five merchandising internship this summer, which was super foreign to me, but I am definitely grateful that I was able to get that experience under my belt. It was just like nice to see kind of the behind the scenes of the fashion industry, but a nine to five is kind of, it's tough. And I felt like I couldn't have a life outside of it. And I had this whole identity crisis. It was kind of crazy, but I feel like I'm fine now. That's kind of a rundown on my life. It's so weird, like the career path that I kind of took. I started this my senior year of high school and then it was my full-time job for about two or three years. And so then in those two to three years, that's when a lot of people like start their like first part-time jobs or whatever. But I didn't have to do that because this was my job, which like I'm so privileged and lucky and grateful that I had this. But everything else is so foreign to me now. And I don't know, it's just like a weird thing to kind of tackle. So I'm just trying to figure that out, navigate my way through life. This part of my life is also just been really hard because I'm 22. A lot of my friends already graduated school because I took a gap year. I'm not done yet and I have about a year left that I'm finishing online. Mentally, I've just been kind of tough on myself with a lot of things. I should be here. I should be doing this. But also, I've just been trying to appreciate what I have, be grateful for where I am and my life will work out how it's supposed to work out. I'm not behind and it's not embarrassing that I'm not where everyone else is, the society's standard of where everyone is supposed to be at the age of 22. It's my own path and I'm just trying to keep reminding myself that because it does freak me out a lot. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm using this Say Beauty Star Glow Super Gel. Do people still put highlighter on their nose? I don't know. Another question. Have you thought about moving to Europe? I definitely have thought about that. I at least want to do like an extended vacation through Europe at some point. Like a month long trip to Europe is definitely on my bucket list. Before I start my real big girl job, I think I wanna do a big Europe trip. I don't know about moving there because it's so far away. Where do you get your style inspo from slash Who's your style inspo icon? Mm, I go on Pinterest a lot, I would say. I really like Jennifer Aniston's style like in the 90s. I like wearing like old vintage pieces that are pretty simple, I would say. I went through this whole style crisis where I just felt like nothing I wore was like working. And I feel like I'm starting to kind of get a grasp on what I like and what suits my body. So hopefully I'll just continue to figure that out. And I kind of want to elevate my style in a way, but I feel like it's hard. Also, having good style is expensive, even if you're thrifting because I don't really thrift near me. I just thrift online because there's no good thrifting in Wisconsin. I'm not going to lie. There's not but it still can be expensive, so it's difficult. Are you happy? I would say that I am super happy right now. I definitely have my days and my moments, but overall, I would say I'm pretty content with life right now based on the circumstances that I'm in. There's definitely times when I feel like I want more or I wanna be somewhere else, but I know that this is what's best for me right now, and I have a year left of school. I can suck it up and live here for a year, have my family here, I have my boyfriend here, I really need friends here. <laughs> I have a few friends here, but I feel like I need more friends here. It's the only thing that's like hard for me. Someone asked, why did I take such a big break from YouTube? I feel like I'm not even doing my makeup now. The reason I took such a big break from doing YouTube is honestly that I didn't even mean to. I just, I don't even know how to explain it, but like if you followed me for a while, you know that mentally I've always struggled a little bit. I have bad anxiety, bad depression, and I've definitely been able to figure out how to work alongside those two things. In the past two years, I feel like I've grown so much. I got a text from someone and it like completely lost my train of thought So I'm sorry if none of that made sense, but I do feel like I am happy right now Anyways, I'm gonna answer a new question because I don't even know what just happened
Wait, was I talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> I was talking about why I took such a big break from YouTube, okay. I was struggling a lot mentally for a while, which kind of made it hard to be on camera, and so I never wanted to film, and I always feel like everything I do has to be perfect, and then I put those things off because I'm like, it's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be the way I want it to be. I, that's a very big thing for me, is that if I don't like the way I look, I have a lot of self-confidence issues that I am still working through. I just never wanted to be on camera because I truly just did not like the way I looked, and I was working worried about the way I'd be perceived. It was just this whole thing and I just needed to get over it, honestly. So I'm trying to get back into social media. I feel like I am way behind. Times are different now and I feel like I just need to adjust to it. Definitely one of my biggest passions is making videos and creating content, which sounds stupid to some people, but I just really enjoy filming and editing videos and putting my own creative twist on everything I do. So I do apologize for my absence. I know I've lost a lot of people in the process if you're still here then i just wanted to say that i really appreciate you and thank you for always coming back but yeah that's basically why i took such a long break and i wish i never did i wish that through all of my struggles i could have stayed consistent the only thing i can do now is just work towards what i had again i'm gonna curl my eyelashes and do my mascara off camera because i really need to be like really close to something but i'm gonna answer one more question tips on how to do long distance i had never done long distance before my boyfriend and I started talking I honestly hadn't really talked to a boy in a really long time and we weren't technically in a relationship while I was living in New York but I would say the little things mean the most and communicating as much as possible is really important I also think it's really important to always have kind of a day plan when you'll next see them or like dates plan whenever you'll next see them because that's something to look forward to and count down the days too which I think is really important just sending like updates throughout the day like this is weird but my boyfriend and I always would tell each other what we ate throughout the day it's like things like that like stupid things that you would never think help but they do just because it kind of feels like you're there with them that's just some of the tips i have i'm not a pro it was hard at times and i also came to visit like once a month while we were doing long distance so i'm not an expert whatsoever but those are just some of the tips that i have i would say i'm gonna do my mascara really quickly i just curl my eyelashes with this super old revlon eyelash curler and then i just use the l'oreal lash paradise mascara done the last thing thing that I do is just go in a lip liner. This is the Pillow Talk Medium by Charlotte Tilbury. I'll do the normal Pillow Talk a lot or the iconic nude. I think I'm gonna do this one today. And I don't really overline except for like right under my cupid's bow. I'll just overline here and then connect like my natural lip shape. I used to have lip filler. It's all dissolved and I've been like debating on getting more but I also kind of like my lips naturally so I don't think I will. I hope my camera doesn't die. I need to do this over here. I feel like I kind of did that a little bit crazy. I've been using the road lip peptide honestly looks like a gloss and that's it. That's all I really do for like a light makeup look. Final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't too messy or all over the place. I am really just trying to get the hang of this again. Thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. I will see you in another video soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.